Some common series that tend to show up pretty frequently in calculus, as well as differential equations. First one being the harmonic series. For certain instruments, harmonics can come out of playing certain frequencies of the instrument. And all of those frequencies are going to be based off of reciprocals of positive integers. The harmonic series looks like the following. 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth, and so forth and so on with denominators going up one at a time. So first thing to take note of here is that the sequence associated with this, the sequence 1 over n, does in fact converge to 0. Unfortunately, that's not sufficient to make a, a deduction about whether or not the harmonic series actually converges or diverges. So we're going to use a slightly different test. So we'll pose the question, does the harmonic series converge? What I'm going to do is go through a sequence of algebraic manipulations to this series. We'll call it 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth plus 1 fifth, 1 sixth, 1 seventh, 1 eighth, 1 ninth. Then we're going to skip a few all the way to 1 sixteenth plus 1 seventeenth, oops, plus 1 seventeenth, and then skip a few to 1 over 32. And we're about to make some calculations. What I'm going to do is take a bunch of these denominators, and I am going to make the denominators larger. Now, by making the denominators larger, the thing that I'm about to create is... Wait, hang on, is that what I do? I'm going to turn that one-third into a one-fourth. These, uh, yeah, those all get turned into eighths. So yeah, uh, the harmonic series is going to be greater than the thing that I'm about to create because I'm making denominators larger, so I'm making it smaller. So one-third, I'm actually going to reduce that value to one-fourth. One-fifth and one-sixth and one-seventh, I'm going to reduce all of those to one-eighth. For one-ninth through one-fifteenth, I'm going to turn them all into sixteenths. Then for 1 17th through 1 31st, I'm going to turn them all into 1 32nds. I'm going to do something similar all the way down the harmonic series. Reason being, 1 is 1. 1 half is 1 half. I'm going to simplify 1 quarter plus 1 quarter. I'm going to get 2 quarters. 2 quarters reduces down to 1 half. I'm going to take all of these 1 eighths four in total and add them together, I'm going to get one half. I'm going to take these eight sixteenths that I would have created from n equals nine to n equals sixteen. That'll be one half as well. From n equals seventeen to n equals thirty-two, there are sixteen numbers with a denominator of thirty-two. That is one half. Essentially this grouping that I have created lets me know that every time I move out another 2, 4, 8, 16 places, I'll be adding something to this that is greater than 1 half. This lets me know that as n starts getting rather large, this is going to tend toward infinity. We are essentially adding 1 half together a total number of infinity times. As such, to answer the original question posed, no. The harmonic series diverges. I cannot overstate this enough. This is a result that is going to get used over and over for the remaining part of the semester. Commit this to memory, this fact, not necessarily this proof, but commit this fact to memory for the rest of the semester.